This is Oromia, a region of central and southern Ethiopia, which extends to the border with Kenya. This land is characterized by its arid climate, with two short rainy seasons each year, alternating with two long dry seasons, during which the drought presents a harsh challenge to the very survival of the local people. For centuries, this has been the home of the Barana, semi-nomadic herders from the Oromo ethnic group. Each year, when the dry season reaches its height, the Barana herders gather all their animals around the centuries-old wells, known as singing wells. Whilst thousands of beasts arrive each day to drink, a song will emerge from underground and fill the air like a great cry. At this time of year, the whole Barana society is dedicated to drawing water and marked by the rules which have governed the operation of these wells for generations. When grazing begins to grow scarce around the village, acacia seeds must be collected to feed the animals. season, the purpose of every activity is to allow the livestock to survive. The only sure source of water is in the subsoil in the Dira region and must be reached on foot from each village. <laughs> Pressure on the Barana's wells has increased in recent years, with the arrival of people and herds from remote areas, where the drop in rainfall and the scarcity of pasture land has fueled ethnic tensions.
derejitu wama yola ftijirati warani na mindo gulo achi wayama lengo dana warigu dale nkormilu nuwaridari danga nke nkormilu umani khe nchukia chichi yok amna khayo torbu khe bul warani la devi la bakane devi Every day, the women must cover great distances along the paths to the Erda wells. Accompanying donkeys and camels, ready to be loaded with the water needed for survival and carry it back to the villages. Rakate. As thousands of animals approach the wells, after such a long walk across terrain without any pasture, the song of the wells suddenly reaches them. At first softly from afar, then growing ever more insistent. When they hear the song of the wells after their exhausting trek, which may have taken several days, the animals know they're near water. But the moment when they can drink is still far off. Sa 
لف بور لفتی بورانو من به خمتی دگه آن دگه این مگر طلا بورانو مو بگر ولی که کسی ول کیفا نمی تا چپ سیر رفوده تیم و فلایی جو لف بوری طلا بورانا نمی دیدم مو بگی را وانا کنم ولی Kau cuci borang ni dah, nabi kau cuci ni kan mungkin, nabi borang. Kau cuci, kau suka sangat. Ini kalau kau jiran tu, kau bade kau fikir jiran tu, kau fikir tu kau cuci borang ni dah, nabi borang ni dah. Kau cuci sahaja faham tu, kau cuci ni kan mungkin. The village of Arda is the meeting place for all the herders heading to the wells. This is where information is exchanged. This is where the community comes together. Meetings are organized and decisions taken on the management of the wells. Amaga fiel koten. Abba khiyal lendura, akhaku khiyal lendura, ababo khiyal lendura. Bar sunama akuhani Europa ti fuhan Ethiopia let bar suni wanje dani amma nini imudan da wanje te se fago bar gudatur. Garborana tu Nami alat ufel lain ke godaan ini sila atau as jira, borbor jira itu aci godaan. Nami rega berbade, abboti ella berbade war suni jira. Rega fulate fula kanat lugi suni ninja. Nami gosli bil lain ke aku bira sabula fuli ninja lugu din nuar maaf gabraf garifah war kanan allah. Kise allah bi ninja. Kukul lain ufe khadate aku khadate ingus kres kukul lain ugun danda. Nami rada uwani bisan kanar mang abdua tin. Sinken ninja danin. At one time, this plain had 30 active wells. Then the majority of these were abandoned, and there are now only 14 working wells. The names of the wells are very suggestive. They include the hollow tree well, the rough tree well, the root well, and the tree branch rustle well. The order of precedence for access to the wells follows precise rules and established terms. Each group of animals must wait for its due turn. Fardi egi la khed jirat. Akada borana khadurit. Wanch of ayu fardat durat luksila. Akada borana khadurit. Fardat durat luga. Ya bingul ludi, waraba gul waraba tha, lontu gul luga, galat du dua balik tanah luga, renfa namo, urin di kaf gudah yo mok abat, di kaf gudah sun, ya biyen durat ludi longgu burdo ni tanah, kasih luga. Once they reach the access ramp, the animals wait for a shout from the bottom of the well. This shout is the signal to descend to the argula. The flat area where the groundwater is collected from the bottom and poured into drinking troughs. And now the long-awaited descent towards the water can begin.
At the bottom of the well, the younger herders form a human chain, allowing the groundwater to be reached at a depth of more than 40 meters. From there, the water is passed hand to hand in a regular rhythmic movement up to the higher basin, where it can be reached by the animals coming down to drink and by the people collecting it to take back to the villages. To avoid what little water there is running dry before the end of the dry season, the animals can only drink once every three days. The rest of the time, they're tied up away from the wells to prevent the trampling of their hooves from damaging the surrounding ground. According to the rules, the Confi clan establishes the order of access to the well and takes the first turn. But it is up to the Arba Eriga, the well manager, to oversee the day-to-day -day turns at the well. No one working at the well can be paid for this work. Not even the Arba Eriga can receive any money. However, in return for his work, he may be given presents, such as livestock, clothes or other items. If someone is found allowing their animals to drink without anyone knowing and without permission, this behavior is judged as an attack on the community, which will be informed of this immediately. The people who work extracting water at the well are called Totu. Many of them are young, physically stronger, and more able than their elders. It is these young workers who give the singing wells their voice. Yeah, 
The noises of the animals, the cries of the herdsmen, the splashing of poured water, the whole sonorous universe of the barana seems to be echoed in the song of the totu at work. Whilst some wells continue to sing, others have fallen silent, as they've been abandoned over time. There are various reasons why this may happen. At times, war causes the tribes to flee and leave their wells unattended. And sometimes the drought causes people to leave. Other times, however, debris carried by rainwater can cover the water table at the well, or a landslide may block access. Tulan, injik, bijela lav tu kau jod, jiran jod ufanu sukum, injik. Lau fula dua ni minta, valtij. Eli antu kau dua gula jige, lag na bayi na demi, kami ella jug. Jar serikani lala, jige isi dua ayu, dua, dua dan dua an dan dua. Lau ni saya ella ni terlaku dah lau nak gula. Jiran agalu dua, minta tak. شوف خبايا لا تشوف نام خيسة بورا أتلون إت إت أبان سلقوا يا رأت اللوم نام خيسة بوري سانجا كل وباتو توتو كتو سانجا تكلاني أركان كاني ربولة أركان كوكو تاتا بولة بوري ميدا فاتل. In the past, it was much more difficult to gather water. Buckets were made of the skins of zebras and other animals. The skin was cut and filled with earth to mold it into a bucket shape. These containers were heavier, and when wet, they became slippery, making work at the well very dangerous. Now, the use of plastic buckets has made a huge improvement, and the totu's work is much easier. Now that many children go to school, the Barana expect further improvements. The arrival of the camels at the well means that the hard day's work is almost over. The sound of their wooden bells accompanies their descent to the water, whilst the other animals are already starting the journey homewards. Move. Move. 
The work in the well is finished, and even the camels, their bodies swollen once more with water, climb laboriously back up the ramps to return to the villages. Traditionally, livestock has always been the Barana's only resource. All benefits came from rearing livestock, and no space was left for commerce or money. Recently, however, certain changes have threatened to destabilize this balance. As the drought advances, some herders are forced to sell their livestock, but the prices are low because the animals are weak and the lack of pasture means it's more difficult to feed them. Thank you. 
Amagrib bilama abdi bi toko wai gurgur debu jirti. Nabi demu lene rakko wan demu fi fi khata turai jir. Rakko wan amna ma bayate boni na mira rakko boni na ma bayise gabayang gabuze urin na ma talate kana se nami amaro fula gurgur tum fula dabe ye gawan tanka butana gurgur male amagar garaja tinu godame rakko gudo gubaje sama bagaraja bicha. Sabab sila dilalu ni, dansa dah dia mahu orang dilalu yang maruf laka bade. Jiralli, nafin nama mau kuyah sunir deh fikar bahu kuyah sunir buat anda. Kuyah sun, nafsi le, long le, tangga kabani, long kesa sor kaba, long kalle jibing kau. Ame mau manji jiram fakoh jir. In this period of dramatic disturbances in our climate, with the alteration of the natural rain cycle, the dry seasons are growing longer, and the Barana are becoming ever more dependent on food dispensed by humanitarian organizations. and this dry season is lasting even longer than expected. Although the first clouds are gathering in the sky, the rain is still making everyone wait. This is the very hardest moment of the season, the moment just before the heavy rains come. The coffee ceremony, a social event which brings together families and neighbors, takes on a particular significance in this context, becoming a collective occasion on which to call for rain. <laughs> Rabarin naga, kari bujang naga, hari hari naga, hari hari tiada naga, hari hari 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 naga. हर बुरबुरे तो गुराचा होते हैं दोगा नगा वाजे ले रहा हूँ गुराचा गुरी भी क्या नगा हर दूरे थी दूरा दूरी नगा हर भी थोड़ा की दुमों का नगा तो राबुला दूरे थी था दूरा दुमा तो हम लोग ऐसे ही करते हैं ना लोग लफाई जो है ना लोग ना लोग ना लोग ना लोग ना लोग ना लोग 
In this area, alongside the Erda singing wells, a motorised well has been built. The motorised well is considered better, since people do not come into contact with the water, so it's kept cleaner. However, as it is impossible to ensure proper maintenance and difficult to cover the cost of fuel, the motorised wells cannot replace the traditional wells, which are based on the Barana's centuries-old rules and on which the real autonomy of this people is dependent. While we can see all around the world actions towards privatized control of water resources and the access to drinkable water is still not considered a fundamental human right, the Barana deserve a special attention due to the extraordinary way in which they guarantee general and indiscriminate access to water in one of the driest inhabited regions on Earth.
the rain has arrived. Once again, the Barana have managed to survive the drought. Until the next dry season comes, 